this has never happened before. I bought a new Chanel bag thinking that it was vintage. Hi guys, what's up? It's Nika, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a Chanel bag unboxing reveal. It is that time of the month where I share my bag of the month. Since I'm surrounded by bags 24 seven, since I work in the resale industry, I'm allowed to keep one bag a month and that is a strict rule, only one bag and I share it with you every month. So this is the bag that I decided to keep for March. Also, if you're not part of this luxury bag community, let's be friends, what are you waiting for? I post videos whenever I am able to. I I own a vintage designer luxury shop. We do bag drops every Wednesday and all the bags for each week that I source, they drop at exactly 7 p.m. Pacific time on shopfashionica.com. This is one of the bags that I technically sourced for my small business, but this bag is actually not going to be hitting the shop because I decided to keep it. That is the challenge of working in this space, by the way, you get so tempted. You wanna keep all the freaking bags. I only source bags that I wanna keep in my own collection, so it just makes it extremely difficult each day because I'm surrounded by all these bags and I'm only allowed to keep one a month. I know, when I say only, it's crazy, but you know, we source hundreds of bags every month. This has never happened before, but I accidentally bought this Chanel bag thinking that it was vintage, but it's actually new. My puppies are hanging out with me today, oh my god. And there's Louie. Last time you guys saw Louie, he was so small. He's a big boy now. Let's reveal the bag that fooled me because I thought it was vintage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Before I give you the official introduction of this bag, I want you to guess what year this bag was made. Okay, I feel like that was enough time. This bag was made last year. This is not vintage. 2023 Chanel Vanity Picnic Basket Bag. You guys know how much I love my vintage Chanel. I sourced this thinking that it was a rare vintage piece. I would say I'm pretty good with telling what is vintage versus what's not, but man, after further research, Chanel 2023 Picnic Basket. Chanel's been making pieces recently that's so reminiscent to their vintage collection, and this one sure fooled me. I'm not mad that it's a newer piece. This is one of my only newer Chanel bags that I have in my closet, since my typical collection is composed of vintage Chanel. The hardware has the Chanel engraving in the middle. It's double-sided. It's got the double logos on each side. Something about double logos. Like, this is now my third double logo Chanel bag. What can I say? I'm a logo girly. It has a surprise logo hanging out at the bottom. I love this handle. It's a structured gold top handle intertwined with the lambskin leather reminiscent to their classic flat bag supposed to mimic two chains, but it's two chains welded into one top handle. And I just thought that was pretty unique. There's something about this piece that is nostalgic in a way. So even though this isn't vintage, I'm still getting this nostalgia from it. <laughs> Did I just say that I'm vintage? I guess I would be considered vintage since I'm 30. Have you ever watched The Wizard of Oz? This reminds me of the basket that Dorothy carried and she'd put Toto inside of the basket. But whenever I carry this, I literally feel like I'm Dorothy. I wanna share what can fit inside of this bag. A little guest star in today's video. This is the bag I've been using the past few days and my Hermes Cargo Pico Tin. I never did an unboxing reveal of this bag. I don't know why. This bag is not gonna fit much. It, it really is not gonna fit much. It's deceiving because it looks like it fits more than it actually does. So I'm gonna start off with the card holder. Just bought this card holder, brand new in store a few months ago. What is this? Why, why is the stitch coming undone? Anyways, okay, so let's see if this tiny card holder can fit. Oh, wait, I wanted to show you. It comes with a mirror. So this is the nice perk. You can ditch your compact teeny little pocket here. There's a lipstick pocket on this side. Okay, barely. It does close though. If I wanted to ditch the card holder, could I put the phone in? This is what it looks like if the phone is in here. You just can't have a card holder. I'll add my Costco card for this. So just pretend I'm putting a bunch of cards inside of here. With that said, we don't really have that much space after. I just got this Hermes lip balm, Birkin Bait. I'm gonna slide it into the lipstick slot. Hey, it's okay. My dogs are barking at whatever is happening outside. This barely fits the lipstick because the phone is like scrunched up. 
a perfume. Oh, okay, yes, my Touchland hand sanitizer. Um, even with all of this in here, it's still pretty lightweight because again, it's a mini bag. It doesn't fit much inside. Pretty much at capacity. I just need to throw in a few lactates and then I'm good to go for the day. Anyways, that was the March bag of the month. Let me know what you think and stay tuned because it's April right now and I'm still trying to decide what the April bag of the month is gonna be. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit subscribe, let's be friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hugs and kisses, bye guys!